Tonight, state lawmakers are considering a bill that would change regulations for hemp products in Iowa. It is on the agenda at this point for the Iowa House to begin debate at some point. And tonight, KWWL reporter Daniel Perot live for us tonight outside of business in Cedar Falls with more on what this bill would do and perhaps how it might impact the hemp industry. Daniel. Ron, we're talking about products like drinks. We're talking about gummies. We are talking about ointments, things that are derived from hemp but could also still get you high. They are completely legal. They're actually pretty easy to find at stores all across eastern Iowa. Now, state lawmakers are pushing a bill that would limit who exactly could get their hands on them. We also have a bunch of uh, consumable hemp products and then some topical products some therapeutic things. At Happy CBD and Homebrew, manager Tom Belaser says demand for hemp-derived cannabis products is budding. We have all sorts, sorts of folks that are looking to find therapeutic things besides alcohol to sleep. A bill at the state house would add new regulations, allowing the Iowa Department of Health and Human Services to regulate the sale and distribution and set a maximum potency limit for products. The 2.5 milligram cap may go a little far the other way. Um, it would eliminate the majority of products that we sell here. Current Iowa law allows for the sale of hemp products if they're less than 0.3 percent THC by weight. So that does leave um, some room for, you know, some products that maybe aren't so responsible. Right now, there's no age restriction, but as a policy, Happy CBD and Homebrew does not sell hemp products to minors, something this bill would codify into law. If you start to consume them before you're of a certain age, that can really affect the long-term development of your brain, much like alcohol. Supporters of the bill say it's needed to regulate an industry that's not currently heavily regulated. While opponents worry this bill will limit access to these products for therapeutic uses. We're taking as responsible of a route as we can and trying to carry products that are more geared toward wellness and not just the recreational side of it. And sort of one more aspect of this, I checked in with some of the medical marijuana companies here in Iowa today. They say with the rise of these products, they've actually seen fewer people who are renewing their medical marijuana cards. In Cedar Falls, Daniel Perot, New 7, KWWL. All right, very interesting. Yeah. Thanks, Daniel. Mm -hmm. Well, if the House passes the bill, it would still need to get passed, of course, through the Senate before going to the governor's desk to be signed into law. All right, well,